Russian President Vladimir Putin and Joe Biden, the U.S. President, have held a two-hour virtual summit to discuss the escalating tensions in and around Ukraine. Biden voiced concerns about the buildup of Russian troops on the Ukraine border, while Putin sought assurances against the further eastward expansion of NATO. Little was reportedly settled, but the two leaders agreed to appoint representatives to rapidly begin a discussion of this complex, confrontational situation. Three decades ago, on December 8, 1991, the Soviet Union was formally dissolved and Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus set up the Commonwealth of Independent States. Now, 30 years on, the three countries are locked in a dangerous troika of confrontation and brinkmanship that threatens to plunge the region into further conflict. The post-Soviet political history of Belarus and Ukraine is interesting on many levels. The former turned into Europe's only dictatorship, heavily dependent on Russia for its survival. The latter, meanwhile, is a transitional democracy which has vacillated between Russian and Western influence over the years. This in itself led to tensions which boiled over in 2014, when pro-EU Protests in Ukraine led to the collapse of the pro-Russian government, Russian annexation of Crimea and conflict with separatists in eastern Ukraine. Hostilities in eastern Ukraine have continued ever since. The mobilization of Russian troops in April in occupied Crimea as well as on the border with eastern Ukraine near Donetsk, held by pro-Russian separatist groups, fueled fears Moscow might be planning an invasion. In the end, this didn't happen but during October and November there has been another major buildup of troops in the region. Given the amount of military hardware already on the ground, Russia's intentions are once again worrying NATO planners. For more information please click on the subscription button, the notification bell and don't forget to share.